Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be focusing on creating a flash message for your React JS applications. Well, I had this problem where I looked onto the internet to find a way to show my notifications um, on my application. And I couldn't quite find something that really worked well for me. And um, I went through Material UI's components and I found this snack bar, which I found really useful for displaying, um, or rather just creating a custom flash message for your React.js application. So today let's, uh, we are here in the Material UI um, documentation and let's take a look at what we will be picking up from this material UI. So basically, by just clicking on open success, we get this beautiful success message. So we wanna have this same thing on our website or wherever you wanna put it where it's applicable. But mainly since this is a, is a React um, framework, then um, you're actually gonna be able to use it in your React applications. So what we're going to do, let's just get straight into the code. What we're going to do is um, we are going to need this, this whole snack bar section. So um, let's first take the imports, um, which are these two. Um, so as you, as you can see here in my, in my React app, I've already created a component where um, I've named it flash, uh, flash message. And so it's going to be the container of our snack bar. So I'm going to put that there. Um, and then let's get this, uh, this function here. I'm going to put that there. Um, put it there. And then let's get this, let's get here. Let's start here from the use state hook and the handle close and the handle click. Let's paste that there. Let's fix this indentation. Let's put that there. Um, okay. Now let's take our snack bar. So this is what we want. Um, so I'm going to put that there. Um, okay. No, that looks good. Um, so, the snack bar only opens based on it receiving a true Boolean value. Uh, if it's false, it won't open. So, as you can see here, as you can see here, it's using the handle click, which was using the button from this button. This button had the handle click function, which would then set the state um, of this open variable to true. Meaning that if you click it, it will open. But then right now, because we want to create a flash message and we don't want to be clicking things. We just want to, we just want like, for example, after an operation has, has occurred, we want to show their message. So we, don't need this handle click. But then what we're going to do is that from the very first start, we're going to set this to true. We're going to set this to true. So meaning that if our operation, wherever we are going to call this flash message, it's going to show straight up without having to click anything well, anyway, so now this is a prop. Um, if you if you check the Metro UI documentation, this is the amount of time um, that takes for the snack bar to show. 
And on close, we need this hand, uh, this handle close. Um, that will after it has been the snack bar has been clicked on the on close. It will change the set open to false, which is true here. Um, so now this is basically all that you need to get started. Um, let me. I love to use my hooks in this way where I provide them up there here. So now let's, I will go to my um, dashboard profile form where um, I've actually implemented this, um, this feature already. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put our flash message and then, so because we, we wanna know, one thing that I didn't say out at first is that it's going to take a message because you want to show a message. Um, and you can also add other properties where you are going to choose to render um, based on, is it a success message or is it an error message? So you can actually do this, uh, customize this and add another prop where wherever you pass in this component, you will then pass in to say, is it a success message or is it a error message where it will then um, render this this part which 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 enables this to show if it's a success or it's an error message or it's a warning whatever it is so it, it's like we'll probably pass in something like um, if it's success then do success or do error depending on how you actually going to use this um, so we don't need that because this is a success. We're doing a success one. Um, so what I then did was that for this to show, I tried putting this. Um, so after, so so in this in this handle submit, I'm basically uh, editing data in a form. That would then send me a response to say, okay, this has been successful or not successful. So what I did first was I would put my my component here and expect it to show, of which it wasn't working. So what I then did was I then created two states, which was to check if it's successful or not. So if at first um, I would set this set success to false and also the message, because I want to pass in the message into my flash message component. So this is what I would I would then do. So after I've submitted, then I'll set the message from that use state hook with my response or data. So I get it whenever I run this in my backend, I've, I've created that it will send me a message if it has failed or not failed. So this will send me a message to say, okay, the status was 200. So this has worked. So it's going to set the message. And then after that, it's going to set the success um, to allow me to render my component, which is a flash message. So after that, I would then now set success back to false. After it has did all of this, I'll set it back to false because what if that same person stays on that form and wants and wants to update something again. Because if I don't include, if I don't take it back to its default value, it means that if someone edit, edits or does any any editing or any or any creations, they will not be able to. They will actually not be able to to see that message again. So I then put my flash message right at the bottom where I'm rendering my flash message based on the success. So if the success is false, it won't show. But then if it's true, it would then show. And then I passed in my message, which I had set from up there, um, which I'd set from up there. Um, so now let's go to our form uh, and take a look at, at this. Um, let's go onto the dashboard because profile. 
Okay, so now I'm going to remove this is here and then click on update. There we go. Now you have a flash message and then after a certain amount of time, it goes. If I do another, if I add another S there, I run, it still runs. So that's it for today, guys. Um, please subscribe. I'll be bringing in more ways of how you can do these little things because little things really matter so that you can be able to create your amazing applications. So thank you guys. Please share, please subscribe, please like, please leave a comment for anything that you'd like me to improve on. Um, I'd really love your feedback.